Chapter 6 Teeth and Dental Care Important Terms Erupt Comes out Decay Damage Cavity An empty space inside something solid Chisel Tool for cutting wood Chopping To cut by blow Grinding To crush the food into small and thin particles Rinse Wash Impair Damage Dentist A doctor who treats diseases and injuries to the teeth Development of teeth Our teeth help to chew and digest food Play an important role in speech and impact our overall health Humans have two sets of teeth Milk or primary teeth and permanent teeth Which develop in stages Although the timing is different the development of each one of these sets of teeth is similar. A newborn baby does not have any tooth in his mouth. After six to seven months, the first tooth appears. The crown of the tooth forms first while the root continues to develop even after the tooth has erupted. By the age of three, about 20 teeth are visible. This set of teeth in a child is called milk teeth or temporary teeth. At the age of about 6 years, milk teeth start falling one by one. Primary teeth fall out behind it. Slowly, permanent teeth grow and take the place of primary teeth. Permanent teeth are larger and take longer to grow than primary teeth. By about age of 12 or 13 years, most kids lose all their milk teeth and have a final set of permanent teeth. There are 28 permanent teeth in all. Between the age of 70 and 21 years, four more teeth called wisdom teeth usually grow at the back of the mouth. The complete adult set of 32 teeth. Parts of tooth A tooth is divided into two basic parts. 1. The crown which is visible while part of the tooth. 2. The root which you can't see. The root extends below the gum line and anchors the tooth into the bone. The gum is the pink fleshy part of a tooth. Layers of tooth, layers of tooth, animal, canatum, dentine, crown, root, pulp, animal. The crown of each tooth is covered with animal which is very hard and shiny. It acts as a tooth bodyguard. It protects the inner part of the tooth. It protects the tooth from decay. Animal is made up of phosphorus and calcium. Dentine. Under the animal lies the dentine. It makes up the largest part of the tooth. It is not as hard as animal. It is like a bone which supports the animal. It is made up of calcium. Pulp. Pulp is found inside the dentine. It forms the central part of the tooth. It contains blood vessels, nerves and other soft tissues that deliver nutrients and signals to the teeth. When you bite a cold scoop of ice cream, fall or hurt a tooth or get a cavity, it is the pulse that hurts. The pulse sends messages to the brain about the sensation. The pulp also contains the tooth's blood vessel, which feeds the tooth and keeps it alive and healthy. Cementum The pulp goes all the way down into the root of the tooth, which is under the gum. It makes up the root of the tooth, which is anchored to the jawbone. It is light yellow in terms of color and is usually covered by gums. Types of tooth Each type of tooth has a slightly different shape and perform a different job. Factor scope Four molars grow later and are called wisdom teeth. Types of teeth Incisors Canine Premolars Molars Molars Premolars Canine Incisors 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 are the eight teeth in the upper front and front bottom of the mouth. Four on upper front and four at front bottom. They are shaped like tiny chisels with flat ends. These teeth are used for cutting and chopping food. They are usually the first teeth to erupt. Canines are the four teeth and next ones in order to develop. Two at top and two at the bottom. These teeth are pointed and sharp. They help tear food. Premolars are the four teeth on each side of the mouth, two on the upper and two on the lower jaw. There are eight premolars in all, which are also called bicuspid teeth. Premolars are bigger and stronger. They are used for chewing and grinding food. There are eight molars, four at the top and four at the bottom. 
They are wider and stronger than premolars. They work closely with the tongue to help swallow food. Third molars are commonly known as wisdom teeth. These are the last teeth to develop and do not erupt until age of 18 to 20 years. Some people never develop third molars at all. The third molar may cause crowding and may have to be removed. Protection of teeth Proper care of teeth is necessary for keeping them healthy and strong. When we eat food, tiny bites of food get stuck in the spaces between our teeth. If we do not remove the remaining food particles from teeth, germs start acting on them. These germs secrete acid juices in order to help themselves digest the food particles which are stuck between the teeth. These juices corrode the enamel of the teeth. Consequently, cavities are formed. These cavities grow bigger and deeper and finally they reach the pulp. The tooth starts aching and sometimes these teeth become loose and thus fall off. Decaying teeth also cause bad breath and indigestion. We should clean them regularly, otherwise germs can grow and form a sticky yellow layer called plaque. Proper brushing with toothbrush, toothpaste and water can remove this plaque. Dental care Brush the teeth at least twice a day, once in the morning and once before going to bed. Rinse your mouth well after taking meals. Clean the tongue to remove germs. Germs attack our teeth and cause bad breath. Use a dental floss to clean between the teeth. Eat healthy food for teeth and gums. Eat fruits like apples without peeling their skin. Avoid having too many sweets, sugary snacks and soft drinks. Visit the dentist regularly for checkups. Taking calcium is very important for keeping teeth healthy and strong. We get it from milk, curd, cheese and other milk products. Eating salads protects our teeth from germs. We must chew fruits and salads as they improve blood flow in the gums. Teachers note, explain to the children about the causes of dental decay and the methods of preventing it. Fact 5 1. Chewing gives exercise to our gums and improves flow of blood inside them. 2. Enamel is the hardest substance in our body. Let's summarize. 1. By the age of 3 years, about 20 teeth emerge. 2. We have two sets of teeth, primary and permanent. 3. There are four types of tooth, incisors, canines, premolars and molars. 4. A tooth has two parts, root and crown. 5. Proper care of teeth must be taken for keeping them strong and healthy.